So, um, if you didn't already know, or you're new to this channel, I'm a pretty big Apple fan. This kind of changes because I'm building a Microsoft Windows PC! Yeah, it, it's not really a big deal, but okay. Let's talk some specs. To start off, it uses the Gigabyte GAZ270 Gaming K3 ATX LGA1151 motherboard. The CPU is the Intel Core i5-7600K cooled by the Cooler Master Hyper H412R air cooler. To go with the CPU, it has 16GB of Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4. For storage, it uses a 128GB Micron SSD paired with a 640GB Hitachi HDD. For the graphics card, I have a Gigabyte GTX 1080, 8GB. All of this is being powered by the Antec Edge 750W Modular ATX PSU. And the case I have chosen is the Deepcool CC560 ATX Mid Tower Case. Now, I'm sure that I share the same opinion of others when I say this, but MacBooks and iMacs and just Macs in general are definitely the best for editing, and that's why I'll continue to use my good old MacBook Pro 2017 for editing. I'd say my current setup is quite good, in fact, why not show it to you? Alright, so this is my current editing slash current gaming setup. Uh, I've got this 32 inch Kogan monitor right here, MacBook Pro works really well for editing and well plays Roblox and Minecraft fine so that works got um this cheapish mic from Kmart which is actually really good and underrated this is a Kogan keyboard this is like some cheap mouse I don't even know what it is I really need to upgrade it though got these headphones I think they're the same brand as that mouse they're actually pretty good though uh, we've got this nice light we've got the LED strip down there Mess of crap. I don't even don't look at that. It's just bad. So we got a laptop stand it actually has fans So that's, that's pretty neat. There's also this chair, which is pretty mid and all of this is behind my cubing shelf And I've got an extra seat here with a massive cushion because why not? Basically the moral slash story of the video is expect better gaming videos as I most likely record on the PC So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. But don't go yet, you better wait to see the end of this time lapse. You better stay to the end. Also, link in the description for the actual parts that I've used. Alright, guys, it's time for first boot. Okay, all good so far. And power bomb, ready? Three. Two, one. Oh, yeah. Check it. That looks so nice. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. That's pretty damn good. So this is still pretty much the same, but the only real difference here is now we got the PC. Check it. So it just sits here and um, there's a few cables running behind it. So it's plugged into my modem via ethernet. This is the audio and it comes up uh, around here. And it can plug into either my speaker or my headphones. And then if I want to pull this dock, which is like my keyboard and mouse, I'm gonna put it into this USB, which runs into the PC. So, yeah, I'd say it's um, it's a pretty good design. So I can switch from my editing setup to my uh, gaming setup pretty easily, and I don't really have to do that much. So yeah, good.